doing today? Capturing some sharks in the mangroves. Going to the mangroves. Yeah. Morning, Phil. Morning, Roger. Morning, Ted. Morning. Look at all these shrimp. Damn, good catch. All right, so we're getting aboard our long tail boat. Morning. Oh, wow. What'd you catch? Is that octopus? Ew, yum. Hello. 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 Welcome aboard our boat here. This is the Palm Beach Resort and they will be showing us around today. Today we're going to the mangroves and then after the mangroves we're going to a local Cambodian village. And it's actually a fishing village so we'll see how they live, how they operate. Of course fly the drone around. Today's a little bit more overcast than it was yesterday but the weather changes pretty quick. Today we're getting lost. So you have to go really slow through this area right now because the water is actually so shallow. Throughout all of Koh Rung, basically like the deepest points are about 9 meters. So this is really not a place to come for scuba diving, but there's some good snorkeling and it's awesome because you can do a lot of walking around outside of the island being in the water. Right now we're going through this village here and we've actually removed a little flag from the top of the boat because we're going to be going underneath the bridge. The bridge is too short so we had to take the flag off the top. So we've taken the boat up into the mangroves. Right now we're turning the boat around to go back to that little village. And it was so cool because all the little kids, of course, come out as soon as they see the drone. And they're all just like, hello, hello. Hi. Okay. So excited to see us flying it around. Uh, right now we're actually gonna go back there. We're gonna go explore the village. Yeah, just really stoked to be here. Check out these mangroves. It's really humid in the mangroves because there's not as much wind flow. Oh, did a fish jump there? All right, so we have just arrived in the little village here. As you can see here, everything is like right on the waterfront. So the kind of fish they catch here are tuna, barracuda, um, hoopers. Groupers. Oh, groupers. Yeah. And a few other species. But you can see lots of little fish in the water here. Also saw a guy holding some squid earlier today. And they also use the squid as bait. There's a big chunk of fish right there. So this here is a cut up manta ray. Apparently when oh. it was not cut up, it was 50 no, kilograms. No, it's not a manta ray, it's, an, it's a ray. Or just an... Stand corrected, it's a ray. All the way here in a rural village, and they don't even care about hundreds. No. They're balling. No, this is fake, apparently. So this is exactly why cashew nuts are so expensive. Yep, because, because it's only one. That's one nut right there, and you have to dry it out, or wait for it to dry out. We can eat later. I, yeah. uh, they have the, they roasted it. Ah, so yeah. that's how they shrivel it down. They roast it. They roast it so we can eat it, uh, eat it later. It's very good. And what's this village called? Prexy. Prexy. Raymond was just telling us that the average family size here is five to ten kids. Massive families. Fathers are off fishing during the day, and the mothers stay behind to take care of the kids. The most venomous snakes on the, uh, on the planet are here. Whoa. Yep. What? Have you seen any? Uh, I killed uh, last week one on the road. No little way. Little one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The most venomous snake on the planet. The king cobra? King cobra, yes. Or the black, oh, yeah. No, it, uh, it has the, I don't know the name, it's brown, but it has the, the venom of the uh, uh, sea snake. Mm. The sea snake is the most venomous yes. one. And here they have the on land. Ooh. Yeah. It's so hot right now, so we had to stop. We got a couple of Angkor beers and Lucky Ben over here. Luck of the Irish. So when you get an Angkor beer, apparently if you pull it up, look inside this, and if inside that circle there's a little thingy-mobobber, you win a free beer. How does it feel? Good. Hello. Here? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hi. High five. Ooh, <laughs> just missed. Boom. Here? Yeah. <laughs> So Raymond was just telling us that there's a little, almost like a barrel you can see back there. There's two of them. One I see filled up with roots and like a liquid up to here, and that is whiskey. There's another one next to it that is actually filled up with the same liquid, but it's marinated with snake blood. And the idea is that the whiskey is supposed to make you stronger by drinking the snake blood. 
I think I'm gonna take a pass on that one, but uh, interesting. You have to be careful of what trees you're walking under. You're more likely to die from a coconut than a shark. That's a fact. Time to go to our next destination. We're now going to Lonely Beach. Welcome to Lonely Beach. This is a very lonely beach. There's very few people here. Uh, there's one small little resort over there. And other than that, you basically have to trek all across the mountain, either by like a one hour hike, or you can take a boat here like we did. It's beautiful, the water's clear. All right, this is one small step for man. Ooh, it's nice. Woo! <laughs> the whole boat sways when I get off. Bit of a sign. This place is paradise. Like this is definitely going down as one of the most beautiful beaches I have ever seen. I'm really excited to get ourselves set up and to take you to the skies with it. The drone is gonna show this place off like it's meant to be seen. Raymond was just telling us that this side of the beach is owned by a Frenchman. And then I started remembering that actually it's my father. My father is the one who owns this beach. Marcel Leblanc. So Ronnie is currently operating my drone and I was just telling him it's like the same thing as like when you let somebody else drive your car. For me it just like feels like completely relinquishing control of the situation and it makes me very nervous. Even though I know Ronnie's a very capable pilot, he's flown many a time but every time a drone goes up you always run that risk that it may never come back and I've seen too many drones go down the past week. Six minutes later. Alright guys. Bit of grills here. Haven't seen Ronnie or well, been in ages, mate. It's been. S no, he doesn't say, mate. I'm completely lost. Oh dear. Just hanging on the side of this here fallen log. Wish me luck as I go explore. These are some perilous terrains. If I don't see civilization soon, I'll have to drink my own piss for views. Hopefully, there's no deadly cobras up here. Although it doesn't really scare me, because nothing does. Uh, good heavens. One fall, and there's no coming back from this one. Wow. There's something about getting lost that really can't be beat. Here I am, alone. Haven't seen civilization in over 10 minutes. It's got a little piece of tree in my mouth. Wow. Now that's what nature's all about. So what you're going to do here is you're going to reach into the water and just like that you've now got yourself a pair of aviators. That's how the locals do it here. It's a very primitive technique but it's quite effective. I'm so lonely here on my own. Ooh. Keep your eye to the skies, guys. You never know when death is approaching. That coconut could definitely kill someone. Ronnie, no! So, this here is the hut at Lonely Beach. You can clean your feet off. So, we just spent a good hour inside the uh, Lonely Beach dining area. It's actually a resort here as well on a different side of Korong and uh, feeling well fed. Cinematic dog sequences coming your way. Yup. The Ben Keeley special. Here? 
Oh, sorry there. You just caught me taking a selfie in front of this uh, sunset here. <laughs> <laughs> we're back at the resort and uh, yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do tonight. Play some pool. I'm currently the reigning champ. No, I don't think so. <laughs> no, absolutely not. The Palm Beach Resort has a nice pool table. There's some good food. So that's kind of what our night's gonna be of. Greetings, Earthlings. No, I'm just playing. So we are back at our humble abode here in Palm Beach Resort, and we're going to bed. It's like 12. Oh you know, my god. No, I do not like that. <laughs> He's just staring at us. No. Oh my <laughs> he turned God. his head to you. No, 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 no. He's gonna jump at you. He's... Oh, Ronnie, no. Oh, no, he's moving. Look at moving, it, look at it, look at it. Oh my gosh, dude, that thing looks like a prehistoric dinosaur. Look at that. Eyes. Oh, <laughs> I don't like he's moving. These ones bite too. Yeah. So if you get bit by this thing, apparently it's got like the jaws of a pit bull. Oh, pretty. Yeah, no, apparently it's really tough to get off you. So this is where, where we're sleeping tonight. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I hit him. I hit him. oh! Oh shit, where's he going? Take them then, now. <laughs> Gotta risk it to get the biscuit, you said it. No, he's going more in into the... Yeah, he's coming into our room. Oh, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> Look at it, ooh, it's terrifying. I don't like this. This is like, you know when you get to a final boss in a game? And you have to like defeat the final boss, but it takes a while to figure out the strategy. Yeah. Same thing. Here we go, another sock. This is Bowser and Mario. Yeah, this is Bowser. <laughs> uh, he Look. didn't even move. I hit him and he didn't even move. He looks like he's in a pouncing position. He's ready to jump and oh. bite onto our arm. Got this ultra flashlight here. Oh, uh, he doesn't like that. Look at the colors on him. Oh, he's terrifying, eh? Oh, oh no, I don't da, like that. Da, da. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna come out the other side. There's a good chance that this could be the last vlog ever posted. Wait, if I die, it won't be posted. So it's a good chance that last vlog will be the last vlog that ever got posted because yeah. I might die tonight. They won't know that though because yeah. this won't go live. Anyways, I'm gonna end it there. Leave the video a big thumbs up, hit subscribe, and let's get lost again tomorrow. Fan of the day. Yay! Oh! oh.